Today, Mexico City is known mostly for its street food, ancient ruins, and bustling cityscape. But dig a little deeper under the surface and you will find a world of wonders. Since the late 1970s, archaeologists have been uncovering relics of ancient cities under Mexico City, including the spectacular Templo Mayor, or Great Temple, along with evidence of ancient rituals and several other pre-Hispanic buildings. About 25 miles northeast of Mexico City, in the Valley of Mexico, archaeologists have also discovered ruins from the ancient city of Teotihuacan, estimated to have been built between 600 to 200 BCE. Their findings have revealed that apart from being home to some of the most iconic pyramids of the Mesoamerican civilization, the city was also home to a vast underground network. This labyrinth of chambers, tunnels, canals, and aqueducts was found to hold ancient human remains and several objects of religious significance. Fast forward to the 21st century, and architects in Mexico City seem to be taking a leaf out of their ancestors' books and looking to build down rather than up. So, is it actually easier to build underground in Mexico City? Let's look at some of the evidence and uncover grand architectural plans an underground train network, and learn some basic geology along the way. First, let's talk about skyscrapers, or in this case, Mexico City's notable absence of many. The larger Mexico City area has a population of approximately 22 million people. Most other modern cities of this size, with comparable populations, have decided to build upwards, with hundreds of skyscrapers lining the landscape. Mexico City's case is a little different. For one, the city is located in a highly seismic zone. The entire country sees about 30,000 earthquakes every year, most of which are, fortunately, not of very high magnitude. However, these earthquakes lead to some safety concerns, and builders must take special care to ensure their structure's foundations stay strong. The next issue comes with the foundation itself. Since Mexico City is built on an old lake bed, much of the ground is filled with soft and porous sediment. While this makes the ground easier to break into, it also means that a structure's foundations would have to go much deeper than other skyscrapers. The foundation for the Torre BBVA Bancomer, for instance, is one of Mexico City's tallest buildings. It's about 50 meters deep. This is two times deeper than the foundation of NYC's One World Trade Center, which is almost twice as tall. But digging that deep isn't that big of a problem, considering Mexico City's elevation. The city is a staggering 2,240 meters above sea level, giving architects a lot of land below to work with. Considering these factors, and that Mexico City's population is on the rise, going underground seems like a much more appealing solution. In 2012, the architecture firm BNKR Architectura proposed a first-of-its-kind earth scraper, a building that wouldn't rise above the ground but be built below it. This concept earth scraper is shaped like an inverted pyramid and drops 300 meters below Mexico City's central Plaza de la Constitución. The 65-story deep structure, the architects suggest, will deal with two major problems. It would offer the growing city some much-needed real estate and deal with all the factors that make building skyscrapers such a pain. As a bonus, the pyramid shape pays tribute to Mexico's Aztec past. So, what would it look like? According to the blueprint, the earth scraper would be built under Mexico's central plaza under a giant sheet of glass, giving the people in the structure access to some much-needed sunlight and allow pedestrians a glorious view below. The architects envision this pyramid as its own mini-city. The first few stories directly under the ground will house a museum dedicated to the Aztecs. Below that will be several stories dedicated to retail and residential space. The last 35 stories will be reserved for offices. The designers also propose creating several underground green earth lobbies to improve air quality. At the same time, all residences will be built along the perimeter of the pyramid to ensure each story gets sufficient natural sunlight. 
The architects behind this massive construction project believe the porousness of the soil and Mexico's elevation will make it easier to build underground. They also suggest that the pyramid shape will offer protection against earthquakes and be more resistant to underground pressures. While the Earth Scraper project is still in the proposal phase and may never see the light of day, one construction in modern-day Mexico City does offer proof of concept when it comes to building structures underground. The city's metro line is the best example. It has 115 underground stations, the deepest of which is about 35 meters below the rest of the city. When the first of these stations was built in 1969, engineers had to look for ways to limit subsidence, which is a natural concern when digging into such porous soil. The engineers eventually devised a plan and amazingly managed to create metro stations with little to no structural issues in over 40 years since they were built. In fact, during the 1985 earthquakes that destroyed large parts of the city above, the metro system was left relatively unharmed. At the same time, this porous soil and earthquake threat have made it extremely difficult for architects to build upwards in a city that is sorely lacking in office space. Officials estimate that the city has sunk more than 30 feet in the past 150 years, a fact that is evident by how many buildings have begun to tilt over the years. This isn't to say that there aren't any high-rises being built, of course. The city is home to a handful of tall buildings, like the Torre Mitical A and the Torre Reforma, which are both slightly taller than 800 feet. But to make these buildings, Architects have had to dig their foundations a couple of hundred feet deep in the first place. In fact, it is not uncommon for these rises to often have close to 10 underground levels. So, even when architects in Mexico City attempt to build upwards, they must focus their attention down below. Given the success of the city's subway stations in surviving earthquakes, these challenges in building skyscrapers and the Aztecs' long history of looking under the surface the earth scraper starts to seem less like a pipe dream. And who knows, maybe they'll stumble upon another ancient city along the way.